Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing another pick a card reading. So in today's reading we're going to be doing your next relationship. So this is going to be a magical, mutual, long lasting relationship and I did one of these before not too long ago but I honestly, these are one of my favourite readings to do. I love talking about love, I love talking about relationships so that's why we're going to be doing it again. So we have four groups here. We have group one with the amethyst, group two with the apophyllite, Group three with the celestite and group four with the sunstone. So please choose your group now. If you need some extra time, please pause the video. All the time stats will be down below. So we've also got some charms here as well with some letters just to give you some extra info. So starting off with group number one with the amethyst. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. So today we have the amethyst. So let's see what we have here. So we have amethyst, trust your intuition. That is going to be the main message and let's get you a couple more cards let's see what we want to do with these two okay so these two so we have the three of cups and then we also have the eighth house of intimacy so with these two kind of coming out i do feel like your next relationship is going to be very very intimate i feel like you're most likely going to meet your person through a group of friends I feel like you're going to be most likely friends with this person first before you meet them. I think it's going to be a very, very mutual relationship. Both of you are going to have very, very strong values, very strong views of each other. And it's going to be a meeting that's like made in the stars. Like both of you are going to um, have just a very strong into intuitive kind of connection. You're both going to be very, very spiritual. And a lot of you guys may have some strong elements within the eighth house. You may have strong Scorpio vibes within the eighth house you may have some strong kind of uh, star signs within the eighth house but it feels like it feels like both of you are going to have very very strong mysterious kind of energy I feel like both of you have very strong mysterious energy it's kind of like you both need to get used to each other before you get to know each other it's kind of like both of you just have a very very strong intimate connection I also with the three of cups I feel like you're going to have quite a few friends around you or you're just going to have a very very strong friendship connection with this person and it's going to feel just really really natural and when you're in this relationship it's just going to be very very spiritual and intuitive okay so let's get the next cards we have balance and we have freedom so I feel like for both of you you're both learning to have freedom within your work life this person is going to be a very free spirit the most likely can have Sag in their chart Scorpio uh, I'm getting Aquarius as well they're gonna have quite strong Aquarius vibes there's somebody who really really likes balance they like duality they like two sides of the coin there's somebody who also likes judgment they like to kind of get things straight with people so when they meet you they're going to be somebody who is very fair they like to have kind of both sides of the coin there's someone who's very very into justice very into fairness they're going to be somebody who is going to stick up for you when you're feeling low when you're kind of worried about saying something possibly if you have your hair done it's not what you like it's going to be like okay we'll say something to that person you know it's going to be like encouraging you to stand up for yourself as well and this person doesn't really get swayed by other people's opinions they're somebody who's very freedom loving they're very free spirit so they're not sort of the person to have like very very strong organization skills but they are going to be somebody who is just very very easy going and they're going to be somebody who's just like just goes with the flow and just does stuff kind of on a whim and the balance energy is kind of coming in here where it's basically they have a very strong element of two sides like the female the feminine and the masculine they have a very strong feminine and masculine kind of connection between both sides and it really kind of gives them an opportunity to um, have a strong balance within a relationship as well especially if it's a male female relationship because then they can really kind of understand both sides but even if it isn't a male and female relationship both of all like all of us have male and female oh my god I cannot speak today feminine and masculine energy so we can really kind of balance those two out and when we do this is when that's going to help this relationship to come forward because then we're really um, balancing those two out so the more we work on our masculine and our feminine energies that will kind of bring them in so the masculine is action and kind of bringing in that very strong assertive vibe and then the feminine is the heartfelt loving unconditional kind of birthing energy and it's kind of balancing those two out okay so the next cut out is we have the tarantula there's going to be a lot of sensual energy between you two i feel like both you're going to be in a lot of heat and a lot of 
just sensuality guys i feel like spiders are going to be quite a big omen for you so a lot of you guys are guessing are scared of spiders a lot of people are so if you are but i even feel like this is this is just a really big sign i feel like tarantulas i feel like tarantulas are extremely beautiful i mean they're freaking scary but some animals are just scary you know but it doesn't mean they're any less different than animals that aren't scary they're all animals you know there's nothing really different about them just our reaction to them so at the end of the day i feel like with this relationship you've probably been scared of love or you probably haven't wanted a relationship for quite a while and it could be because you're worried about having your vulnerability st struck open i'm hearing your vulnerability being shown but also having your independence being taken away from you and when you're in the re right relationship guys you're never going to have your your base your basic needs are never going to be stripped away from you when it's the right relationship okay but I feel like both of you are just really going to be connecting with each other and there's going to be a lot of fiery energy so you both could be fire signs I'm picking up on Leo and Sag like really really strongly Aries is in there somewhere as well but I'm feeling more Saggy energy so this could be you or your person okay so we have detoxifying and then let's get another crystal card we have live your purpose so it's definitely an element of freedom I feel like you guys are really going to come into a massive amount of purposeful energy when you meet this person it's kind of like i've met my purpose and now i've met you which i think is so cute and there's definitely an energy of detoxifying and releasing anything that no longer serves you so you might be trying to regain balance within all of your relationships whether that be friendships family relationship with yourself it could be just really balancing that out and it's also giving yourself permission to have freedom within your life and a lot of the times we restrict ourselves without even realizing so I do feel like you guys are really realizing that you have more freedom than what you think you do. And this person is going to be a very free person. I feel like there's somebody who wears quite baggy clothes. There's somebody, or they're just somebody who just wears kind of what they want without anyone's kind of questioning. And they're just, I feel like they're more spiritual than they are actually a human being. They're just really, really intimate and just very gentle. I don't feel like they've always been like this. I think possibly they had quite a hard childhood because they were quite sensitive. But I feel like this, as they've grown up, they've really learned to actually release any anxiety around it and just be who they are. I feel like they might even own a crystal shop. They might own like a rock shop or a rock store or like a, like a stall. Like they might be like at those sort of like places where they have stalls of crystals and incense and things like that. They might run one of those. They could even run like workshops. They could be into Tai Chi into yoga into into manifesting they could be just a manifesting teacher that sort of thing i mean getting like a yogi so someone who, who's who is into yoga i really can't get my words out today guys so that is what i'm feeling and also with the freedom i feel like it could have their own business and that could be what i already previously mentioned okay so we have tiktok so for some of you guys you could be feeling like you've been waiting on your person for a very very long time it could have felt like okay why is this taking so freaking long Look out for the number three, guys. I feel that's a very, very strong message for you. Just look out for clocks in general and the number 10. I feel that's a really, really strong message for you guys. And also just don't wait on this person. Be who you are. Be naturally your authentic self. This person will come in whatever, you know, like there's no point in like waiting for this person, like quote unquote waiting, <laughs> you know, like what is waiting. But it's just kind of making sure that you're being your own authentic self and trust your intuition. You guys are really, really intuitive and you're very, very open. I'm seeing like your crown chakra just cracking open. I'm really feeling into this person. So you'll know when this person's coming in. Like I'm really sensing a lot of like purple with this group we have like quite a lot of little purple elements here so i mean and i've got like a little bit of purple in the back as well so i feel like with the purple that's the crown chakra so that's really being like connected to your intuition and trusting yourself trusting your intuition and when you live your purpose you'll meet your person and your relationship with your person is going to be very purposeful it's going to be like wow i have met my purpose within my person so a lot of you guys could be very relationship orientated you could be very family orientated so meeting somebody who you really really connect with is very very important to you and that's obviously for some of you guys not everyone so we have leo and then we also have neptune really really strong connection you guys are just going to have such a strong passionate intimate relationship this person's going to be really bold they're going to be somebody who doesn't just do stuff for the fun of it like they do but also they do things for a purpose like when they look like they're having loads of fun they'll be trying to make it like purposeful as well so maybe they'll go to a fair because they want to experience more 
so like sociability they might i don't even know if that's a word but like being more sociable they might be doing it to kind of expand their knowledge on different cultures on different people um they like festivals and things like that to kind of getting the culture of the music like they do things for a purpose they do for some of you guys there's i'm picking up on two different types of people one person i'm, I'm kind of connecting to is really really freedom loving it doesn't really kind of take things on too strongly the other person has more of a purposeful like brain like they kind of live with different purposes and they are more organized so i do feel like i'm getting two different types of people but when you meet this person you'll meet them after you've had like a massive detoxification of your com of your confidence and when i say detoxification of your confidence basically like you're moving out a lot of old energy so you can become more confident and less anxious and less worrying and you're really moving into and stepping into who you are naturally okay so the next thing we have is romance and isolation so the isolation is really making me think of what we're kind of going through right now with the energy of kind of being stuck indoors and things like that and also things feeling very cramped like i feel like a lot of you guys have wanted to move house and you may be moving house when you meet this person i feel that this person um can be quite hard on themselves for some of you guys so you may have to kind of bring them out or it could be you're quite hard on yourself and they're going to bring you out of the energy but it's going to be such a romantic connection like um, we have the kind of intimacy but i feel like the intimacy is going to be quite hidden i feel like okay so that's why i'm getting these two people like the person who's more freedom loving i feel like your intimacy with them is going to be very open i feel like it's going to be a lot of public displays of affection with the other group with the other kind of section of this group i feel like they're very kind of uh, private with their intimate life and when I say public displays of affection, I don't think it's going to be anything too intense. But I do feel like for the other group, it's going to be more private and more kind of new. I feel like for some of you guys, the other energy that I'm picking up on is a group that hasn't really had a relationship before or possibly has only had short term relationships. And this is like a really big relationship. But just take it as it resonates, guys. So the next card we have is Privileged Lady. So you may feel very, very privileged. This may also be kind of like an intuitive hit that you get. You might see yourself in a past life as being like a very privileged lady before you meet this person. You get the number 12 here. We've got number eight, number one, number three. So very, very strong energies. And we do have the number 12 twice. So it's definitely balancing out. It could be your money as well. You're balancing out your money. You could feel very privileged being around this person as well. You could feel very rich. And I'm hearing nostalgic as well. Um, but you could be around somebody who's very privileged and they could kind of uh, give you the information on this person. It could be like a friend. They could be quite, uh, you could see them as quite a, someone who's quite privileged and they are an important part of meeting your person. So we then have these six of wands and the nine of wands. So your relationship is going to be very free. It's going to be something that you've possibly never had before. I mean, I feel like some of you guys, you could have had something similar, but this is gonna be like on the next level. Like I feel like you're gonna be, your world is gonna be lit up. And I love the fact that we have like this one that's being lit up here. And then we have another one here. So the universe is definitely lighting the way towards your person. Don't feel the need to fight it off guys. I feel like some of you guys might wanna fight it off, but don't, don't fight it off guys. I feel like it's gonna be very, very positive. And I feel like, you might even meet this person through fame so you may want to be an actress singer dancer musician that's for some of you guys some of you guys you may want to also travel and that's how you meet them as well but it feels like even if it isn't travel fully it might be just online and you meet this person through kind of like i'm hearing distant energy like you might be quite far apart but you actually meet each other really really easily somehow i do feel like the universe is really pushing you you may feel like you're kind of up behind a fence right now and then the other side is your person you feel like why is there nothing on this side of the fence but essentially it's basically i'm seeing as time goes on the fence is kind of lowering down and down and down and then the fence will be gone and then that'll be when you meet your person on the other side it feels like that fence is almost like all the levels of the things you're going through and then the fence will be kind of gone and would have gone down and would have no longer be there. And then that's basically when you meet your person. So it's kind of like the universe is like, no, you're not allowed yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay, now you're allowed to meet them. It's kind of like, not that you're like not allowed, but it's like, it's definitely not the right time yet. I feel like for you guys, it is going to be a little bit more time. I feel like six months is probably going to be the, the least amount of time I feel. But I feel like it's going to be a beautiful meeting and it's definitely going to be worth your wait as well. Okay, so obviously just take it as it resonates, guys. So let's get some letters. All right, so we have the letter E, M, and O. So there could be an emo. <laughs> don't do people even use that word anymore? I don't. I don't really know. 
we have S and we have A. Okay, let's get some charms. So we have Sagittarius, we have Scorpio. Let's pick one more. This is they're like right at the bottom. And then we also have Pisces. I love that. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope it resonates with you. And if you'd like a private reading, uh, all the information is down below with my crystal store down below as well. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. So you guys got the Apophyllite. Stay positive. I love this. So the first intuitive message that I got for you guys was a song called Jason Mraz, called Jason Mraz? No, the person who sings it is called Jason Mraz. The song is called uh, I'm Yours, is it I'm Yours? Yeah, it's also uh, Lucky. I'm hearing the song Lucky and I'm Yours by Jason Mraz. So look up those songs. I feel like it's really, really beautiful. I feel like this relationship is gonna be really easy and I feel like it's just gonna be so synchronistic. You guys are gonna be questioning like, wow how the hell did i manifest this it's like i've wanted this for so long but how the hell did i manifest this it's going to be so so perfect for you guys it's going to be absolutely beautiful and i really feel like it's going to be so 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 freaking positive okay so first card out we have is fairy tales letting go detachment moving on okie dokie so this is why i feel that we have to stay positive because i feel like for some of you guys you've been through a lot i'm hearing you've been through the wreckage or you're going through the wreckage and you're just kind of coming out of it like, I don't need this anymore. I don't want you anymore. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> you know, it's like, goodbye. So for you guys, this is how you're going to meet your person. It's kind of like detaching, letting go, moving on from that old person who no longer serves you. It could be just, just an energy of moving on from something that just really consumed you and didn't help you grow. That's what I'm really, really picking up on for you guys. And we also have cry for nature. Morning for something sacred which seems lost so for you guys i really feel like we have with the stay positive it's like you guys feel like you're not going to have a relationship and this is not true you're definitely going to have a relationship it's just you're possibly mourning a little bit of the things that have kind of gone so you might be feeling quite sad about your love life or you might be feeling quite sad about situations and how they kind of turned out and how they may have not turned out right in that moment but actually all of this is leading to this beautiful energy. And Apophyllite is very, very spiritual. So the relationship you guys are gonna have with this person that you're manifesting, very, very spiritual. Your person's probably also going through the same energy. And this is just really, really empowering energy. This is you like, bah, bitch. Like, I don't need you anymore, bah. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look and see what we have. We have the Hierophant, I love this guy. I love him, he's so cute and happy. So I really feel like you guys are just gonna feel so, so damn happy. And just like you have a selection, like you're probably going to be choosing from about two to three people, actually. This could be also that when you meet your person, normally when we meet somebody who's our soulmate, somebody who we're meant to meet, people from the past come in because that energy is, you're radiating, you're radiating out this energy of feeling free. And you're basically letting like a gap open for new energy to come in. So people from the past could be kind of feeding off their energy subconsciously and then wanting to like ring you up and being like, hey, what's up? And you're like, ew, go away. Like, why didn't you message me at that time? You know, so it's you being like laughing at those people and be like, ha ha ha, like I'm in such a better place, you know, like I feel so much more positive without you guys. And then you got actually got choices in your love life. And also the person you're going to be with is going to give you choice. Like it's not going to be like one or the other in terms of like, uh, a, a selection I'm hearing a selection of personalities so what I mean by this is some when you when we're with somebody some people can be very very controlling it's kind of like I need it this way no other way you can't believe in this can't believe in that it's not going to be like that at all it's going to be you be your own person I'm going to be my own person it's going to be so so balanced very very patient person I'm getting very strong earth signs from this group also water from this group as well okay very very spiritual yeah, and we have justice, so there could be an air sign also. But I feel like this person could be an architect. I feel like this person could also be within law. They are very, very fair. They could have strong Libra vibes in their energy as well. It doesn't have to be Libra sun, but they could have like Libra rising. They could just have a very strong energy to kind of help people. I feel like it could even be a counsellor. Could be literally anything to do with helping people on a very, 
I feel like a very fair basis. Like as somebody who whenever they're a part of a group, they always make sure everyone is okay. But they've learned with their relationships, they've learned not to change themselves for other people, not to always help people because sometimes people can feed off their energy, especially if they're toxic or narcissistic. They're learning to just let people come to them. And I feel like you both are learning this relationship wise anyway. I feel like a lot of you guys are going through this in friends, like friendships, family members, and really, I feel like some of you guys are really going through a big hermit mode as well. And you're realizing who is there for you and who isn't. And you're just, you're just enjoying like the lighter side of life. And this is going to be a really happy, fun relationship. It's going to be so, so beautiful. Very sensual as well. I'm hearing the number five for you guys as well. Oh, we have the number five here and seven. All right, so we have the gazelle. So this is kind of reminding me of this card. I'm not sure why, but it kind of is. It's kind of like similar shape. So I feel like for you guys, you are really, really connecting with nature. And the more you're doing this, the more your heart chakra is opening. And that's actually bringing in your person because you're able to have less ba less walls and not, I was gonna say less boundaries that's not the right word like having strong boundaries but less walls and I feel like for some of you guys you don't realize how much potential you actually have in this world like you have such a gorgeous radiating light and the person also has a radiating light you're gonna be able to see that I feel for some of you guys who are very very sensitive some of you guys are picking up you, you can see auras and you're gonna be able to see your person's aura and they're gonna have a very strong uh, vibe and their eyes are going to be really really bright and they might have a long neck quite have a long face or even like a small head I'm picking up very strong Pisces energy from this person they're very very light though this person as I say very very fair very genuine if, especially if they are a male if they see themselves as a male they're going to be a very light energy so they're going to be somebody who's probably gone through quite a lot in their life but because you both are letting go of energy you both are then on the same path. I feel like both of you are doing things at the same time in different ways. I feel like this person's literally letting go of an ex right now, but they're already, they've already done it like quite a while ago, but they're just letting go of that tiny last part so you guys can really move on and help each other to be more open in relationships. I feel like this person really went through quite a big, intense energy with somebody and it just wasn't right for them. And I feel like this person now is just letting the last part of that go so you can really start meeting this person. I feel like you're going to meet a person very soon. I'm really picking up on that. Okay, so we have Prana, release and declutter heart chakra. Exactly. Definitely, as I was saying, and I just burped, so that's clarification. I feel like some of you guys then, as I say, releasing, letting go of detachment, moving forward, moving on, absolutely beautiful. Number three is very, very positive to this group as well creativity, learning to stand up for yourself, learning to speak about how you really feel and not letting anyone kind of sway you in your opinions. What did I just say, guys? Very strong Pisces energy from this group, really picking up on that. And we also have North Node. So never worry about meeting this person or not being able to meet them. They are definitely on your path. They are your North Node. They are part of your North Node. They're part of your path. They're part of this journey that you're on. And they're really going to create a very strong journey for you. I'm going to put this card over here. Okay. So I feel like your energy is going to really attract this person in. I feel like some of you guys, you could actually be a water sign. Um, but it feels like this person's just very, very mystical. They're very magical. They're somebody who's really worked on themselves. And especially if they are a male or a masculine. Sorry, I'm really just picking up on masculine energy. If you're not attracted to masculines, that's totally fine. Just for this message here. I'm just picking up this person's really been working on their masculine energy. Because they could even be a feminine, but I feel like they are just working on their masculine side. And they're really learning to pick up on that. And I'm really sensing somebody who can see auras. I'm really, really picking up on that. Um, and I'm seeing like somebody who can see colours in auras as well. They might even do aura photography. Okay, so you have Garnet, Ignite Your Passion. This person's going to be really, really passionate. When they're stuck on something, they will be stuck on it. And when they're passionate about something, they will full on go for it. And I feel like exactly the same for you guys. Ignite your passion within yourself. Is there anything that you want to work on? Is there any projects that you want to do? Is there anything that you want to work on personally within your personality that you haven't been able to work on yet? And now is a really, really good time to do that, especially as we're going more inwards and then we're really working on those parts of ourselves. See if there's anything that you want to work on. And Garnet is all about ourselves. Garnet is about the us, you know, the you, the me, the I. You know, so it's about each individual person and Garnet really brings us to our own self. So is there anything that you want to work on in relationships? And if there isn't, just be yourself, you know, be authentic and 
Ignite your passion within yourself. Be passionate about yourself because this person's going to see you as someone really, really beautiful and someone who is just very, very passionate. They're passionate and I feel like you're very, very passionate. When you guys get into something, you'll get into it real hard. And I feel like that's the same for them as well. Okay, so this is really, really what I'm picking up on. You guys really have this kind of crying energy and I feel like you guys are really letting go of some stuff. So I'm sending you lots of love, guys, if you're going through quite a hard time. But I feel like you guys are right at the end of this energy so you are definitely letting go of something so this is not going to last forever just be very cautious of your emotions and how you're reacting to the moon and planets and things like that make sure to ground yourself getting nature everything like that okay okay so the reason why you guys are going through such a hard time is because you are working on intimacy and that can be very very vulnerable this person's also working on the same thing. So when you actually come together, you're going to be such a close relationship. You're going to be very private. I feel like you're not going to share your relationship around a lot with other people. And it's obviously up to you and what your style is in your relationships. But I feel like it's going to be such an intimate energy. Both of you are just going to be so, so intimate. The energy is just so potent and beautiful and glorious and thick and just beautiful. It just feels so natural. And I feel like you guys are just going to slide into this relationship so easy because you've worked on yourself and you've worked on your intimacy. Okay, beautiful. We've got fire here as well. We literally have all the star signs. So you could be meeting a uh, Aries um, very, very prominently, I feel. I mean, the gazelle is fire as well. So I feel like you're really meeting somebody who lights up your flame, ignites you, makes you feel really, really beautiful. I feel like both of these cards have very strong energies and the lion chases a gazelle. So it's kind of like this person spiritually is chasing you like you guys can't be torn apart you can't miss this person i'm hearing number five and i'm also seeing you guys in a tea shop like you are with like a friend and you're like drinking tea and eating like cupcakes <laughs> that's what i'm picking up on some of you guys all right so we have mature woman so you i feel like are very mature the person you could be manifesting is very mature if you're wanting a feminine you could be manifesting a mature woman. I feel like this could come through like a mother figure as well or somebody who you look up to. You could actually meet someone through this person. But I also feel like their mother, there's something to do with their mother as well. They're very mature and I feel like you might actually have a very good relationship with that person. But I feel like you are very mature, the person actually watching this video, you guys. And I feel like you guys have really worked on yourself and you want someone who's like that as well. You want someone who also wants to work on themselves. And I see it's like a really strong power couple as well. Okay, so we have Enterprise. And we also have Seduction, beautiful. Very, very sensual relationship. You guys might actually have like a, a store or a job where you guys work on sensuality you might actually sell things to do with sexuality you might um i feel like in a very healthy way though it feels like you might be a like a sex counselor something like that a something to do with sensuality it could even just be a normal counselor it could be a relationship counselor but it feels like something to do with that as well it doesn't have to be guys obviously that that this is a general reading but it feels like you guys are really passionate about what you do and it could be something to do with sensuality as well. And even talking about your passions, both of you, it could really like turn you both on, I feel, and get you guys like really like intimate, intimate together, which I think is really, really beautiful. Both of you are very, very intelligent and you could be working together with this person or you could have your own business and this person is like, wow, you're so intelligent and and I'm so proud of you and everything like that. And they could help you with your own business. It's like vice versa. It's like tit for tat, I'm hearing as well. It's just kind of like what you put in, they put in. They're very like, just, they really, really treat you like a queen or a king, whoever you associate with. Oops. Okay, so we have P, and we have G, and we have O. We have Virgo. <laughs> what else we have let's get some more star signs we have scorpio we have leo and we also have b and q so thank you so much for watching guys if this resonates with you let me know in the comments down below if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below and if you'd like to have a look at my crystals same thing down below in the description box link down below thank you so much for being here and i'll speak to you soon
bye hello group number three thank you so much for being here so the first thing i picked up on for you guys is you're working on your heart chakra your heart chakra is really being worked on right now i keep getting really breathless so i do apologize if i'm breathing like really heavily or something because i feel like i'm having to try and catch my breath so you might be getting a lot of chest pain maybe breast pain something like that um, obviously seek medical help if you if you need it and you feel like you need it so we have celestite soothe your soul so I feel like what's really good for you guys is to relax and have a bath. I feel like that's like a really strong message is to just relax and chill out because everything is being taken care of. Your angels, your guides know what you want and they're really bringing that in for you. Yas, queen. We have the queen of cups. Beautiful. So your person's going to appreciate you so, so, so much. You are going to be in such a good place when you meet this person. I feel like it's very similar to Stella Star energy. It's very like soothing, no worries, got my hands off the brake, we're on the move, here we go, let's get this started. All right, so we have maturation, growing up, introspection, know thyself. This is really strong heart energy. This is like, I'm going to fully be in my queen energy, no one's going to tell me what to do. I'm feeling like really strong water sign energies from this group. I feel like you guys are introverts, I feel like a lot of you guys have chosen this are introverts. Your person's going to be very, very connected to the moon. You're going to be very connected to the moon. You may also be on your period right now, just putting it out there. You might be on your menstrual cycle <laughs> or on some sort of cycle. I feel like you guys are just on a very, very strong cycle and you're letting go of that energy. And th this moon energy is really, really coming in from, for you guys. So you might meet this person on a very, very strong moon that is to do with love. Uh, could be a, vi could be a, not a Venus moon, that wouldn't make sense. I mean, it could be like a conjunction with the moon as well and venus i feel like it could be on like a cancer moon it could be a aquarius moon it could be a leo moon and a virgo moon i'm picking up on like the probably the strongest it could be even capricorn with the horns here but i feel like yeah really really strong energy as well so we have family and we have heart's desires this person is really family orientated i feel like if they're not super family or family orientated they'll want to have a family with you they're really really good with family like they'll want to know your family they want to get to know your family and they're very very controlled with their heart they're very intuitive and oh my god I just love this connection you guys have with this person it just feels so natural and very like non-judgmental this person's very non-judgmental I feel like they got very strong Pisces vibes I feel like Pisces are very non-judgmental just from the energy that I'm picking up on here anyway. I could, I'm picking up on really strong Aquarius vibes as well. So in terms of this person, I feel like they wanna be at home quite a lot or they just wanna create community in some way. In terms of friendships, they're always like the dad or the mum of the friendship group that they're ever in. And it's just a very strong energy. Okay, oh, I love this. Cutie, I love that. So I think, oh my God, look, we have the moon. I love that. Oh, I'm fang, oh my God, I'm fangirling right now. This is beautiful. Oh, I found God about tarot. Like, I'm such a witch. Okay. <laughs> My crystal ball. Like, oh, yes. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm getting so excited. Okay. So, we have two air energies here. So, we have the bat and we have the butterfly. Really, really similar energies. So, you guys, this could be you and this could be them or vice versa. This could also be you. This could also be you. So, you're moving away from like a dark energy. You guys are possibly in this energy right now where you guys are so like screamingly coming out of like a very deep energy. And it, I'm saying screamingly because it feels like you guys are going through quite a lot. Could feel emotionally, could be bod bodily function wise. It could be like physically. It could be just in your bowel. I'm hearing in the water in your, in your body. So make sure to hydrate, get yourself some water right now. Get yourself some tea, you know, get yourself, like, pause this video, go get some water, do the damn thing. Cause I feel like some of you guys are very, very dehydrated. And I feel like because we've got the Queen of Cups, we've got the Moon, and we've got the Moon here, it's definitely a connection. And can you see how they're connected like this? Almost in like a V-shape kind of thing. And that's pointing down into the feminine. So I feel like a lot of you guys are working on your feminine energy, whether you're a male or female, it doesn't matter, gender neutral, we all have feminine energy. And it feels like you guys are going through a gigantic transformation. This is very quick though. I feel like this is only like, at the most, three months. It could be three weeks. Um, but it feels like you, you guys are really going through like the, just the cusp of it, like just the tiniest little part and then you're done and then you're meeting your person like really, really soon, I feel. It just feels like you're just on the cusp of meeting someone so, so, so slow, so slow, so close. It might feel slow, but it's like really, really close. You're really maturing and growing up 
to be that person who you've always wanted to be. These are the sort of people that you've looked up to as a child. And it could be you are basically creating your own idol. So you could be a very strong idol for people that you may not even know who th that they're looking up to you. But it feels like such a strong transformational vibe. And you guys might feel very much in this energy here. You might connect to these two animals as well. You might be seeing these animals. But it's also like you don't even know how beautiful you are, guys. You don't even know how much you've grown. Look at where you were like a year ago, even like a week ago. You guys have gone through so much stuff. Be really proud of yourself because your person is worth all of this. And your person's going to look at you and think, oh my God, you are so strong. Okay? Wow. You guys are going to get so much abundance when you meet your person. You both, you both in the relationship are going to be really, really abundant. Your person naturally attracts abundance and you're going to be like, how the hell did you do that? But also this person's going to look at you and be like, but how the hell did you do that? And it's like you're realizing, actually, I have so much to like be thankful for. And this says the energy of abundance activates our ability to manifest the wealth we need and the sense of fulfillment that comes from a heart and soul that are overflowing with love and gratitude. So the more you love yourself, the more you're grateful for yourself, the more you're going into yourself and introspective, you're then coming out of that afterwards, knowing yourself and then being this independent person doesn't need anyone. And then therefore you meet somebody who's also independent and you're both independent together. I love this group. So, so, so mature, very, very beautiful, very, very sensual. You guys, I feel like are growing into your skin is what I'm hearing. You could be looking like you've always wanted to look. Maybe your figure is looking like you've always wanted it to look. It may be your skin's looking like you want it to look that sort of thing it's kind of just you're growing these wings and how beautiful is that just absolutely beautiful and I feel like you guys are just really I'm hearing the word bleeding but in a really good way it's like you're just releasing toxins that no longer serve you and they're definitely taking off the brakes like you're just like universe just do your damn thing just just do it I'm just gonna sit here you do your thing okay so let's get some more cards so we have recall your dreams. So dreams are going to be a really big thing for you guys. Um, I feel like this person is your dream person. They are the dream that you've always wanted. They are somebody who you're probably getting quite a lot of. I'm getting like a massive strong word of infatuation. Really, really strong infatuation vibes. Like you're just over the moon about this person. Over the moon. Over the moon about this person. I feel like this person has a moon picture in their on their wall. Or you have a moon picture on your wall. And... I feel like you're looking at this picture now if you have it in your room <laughs> like I feel like it's just a really strong energy and this crystal ball is kind of reminding me of the moon here as well so you guys might even on a first date be talking about the moon you know and how and how amazing it is like it's just such a beautiful earthy connection very just if I'm hearing valuable and vulnerable um, it's like you're both able to be really really close to each other you guys have very compatible moon signs that's what I'm really picking up on very very compatible moon signs I would be not shocked if we got the moon in these cards here. Okay, that's quite interesting. I was surprised that we haven't got the moon, but I love this. You're definitely healing, guys. You're coming into a new part of you. And I definitely feel like with the whole body image thing, that's why I felt we have Libra, because Libra, I feel like, is always somebody who's very well-dressed. So the person you're manifesting is very, very well-dressed. They really look after themselves, and they really take care on their image. And I feel like they're working on their self-image right now, and they're possibly um, wearing things that they never really worn before and then now they're starting to be who they really are they're just coming into a very strong place and I feel like for you guys you're going to have the job that you really re <coughs> excuse me that you really really love when you meet this person this person's also going to have a job that they really love when they meet you as well or they're just going to be fascinated by your job and they might even join you on your job or you're just going to really influence each other career-wise as well career-wise is going to be really important for you guys in this group beautiful working on that feminine energy really manifesting um the cup energy so it's like ace of cups it's like the overflowing of emotion really able to express yourself able to give to this relationship your person is going to be overflowing with love they're going to be absolutely in love with you it's going to be you're both going to have a birth i'm hearing so you're most likely going to have a birth as in a rebirth but also could have children with this person i feel like you i'm, I'm seeing just two people and they're making a gift of love, which they're telling me is a baby. So that's really, really cute. I love this. And this might be your baby's favourite crystal, which is so cute. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love that. That is such a cute message. Okay. So next crystal we have. 
ancestors. Yeah, I feel like you guys are really, really concentrating on your manifesting physically. You could have bought something quite expensive recently because of all the money you've been getting, or you might be getting this very, very soon. So expect a windfall of money or expect a windfall of abundance that you've really been wanting. I feel like you guys are either growing your hair out or cutting your hair, doing something very interesting with your hair, maybe even curly it, curly it, <laughs> maybe even curling it or leaving it curly, natural, and just being like, yes, I'm just going to be myself. And your ancestors are here supporting you and letting you know that they're here saying, freaking do it, queen, <laughs> freaking do it. Okay, we have empathy. Yeah, we have the moon in Pisces, very, very empath empathic. And then we have moon in Libra. So wow, yeah, a lot of moon energy. So we have seven and 12, very, very strong energy. Someone who's very spiritual, someone who has a very empathic ear. They're gonna be very, very sensitive to you. They're gonna understand that if you're going through something, they will pick up on it. And you're gonna really feel it. For, for those of you who have a womb or who are who relate more to the feminine energy, even if you don't have a womb, that's totally fine. But if you relate more to the feminine energy, I thought you guys will almost feel it in your womb when you meet this person, which is very strange, but you'll know it, it feels very natural. It feels like a very like, oh my God, like a yearning for this person. Like when you meet them, you're gonna be like, holy crap, this is the one. <laughs> it's almost like if you're at a business meeting and that's how you meet them, it's like you're, whole, you're shaking hands and you're like, okay, this is the one, now what do I do? But it's gonna like flow really nicely. So just keep that in mind. We also have 11, 11 and 4, 4 on the camera, which is beautiful. And this person is just going to be really open to your energy. So if you want to say something to them, they're going to be like, just say it. Don't worry about it. it this person just, they just, it's just going to be so um, healing for you because you're going to be able to just be able to talk about anything you want to talk about this person. No limits, no limitations, completely compassionate. And the companionship is going to be so elegant. Like it's going to feel like a relationship. Some of the relationships you've had before, aren't even a match to this, I, I don't feel. And I feel like you're definitely gonna have children with this person. Obviously, that's gonna relate not to everyone. It could be you even have like a puppy or something. It's a really, really strong vibe. Okay, massive message coming in for you guys. So I feel like there's something in here that I'm not picking up. What is coming in? So I'm feeling like the telephone. So definitely gonna get a call from this person or a text. Um, I'm seeing like a notification pop up on a phone. So I'm seeing that as well. There's something else that I'm picking up on. I'm hearing an email. It could be an, an email at, at an office or a job. And for some reason, there's something different about this email. And it feels very much like uh, meet me in this type of office. Because you, you guys may work in an office, but you they might be like, meet me in my office. And then you kind of talk. And then that's how you get to like talk about more in, intimately, be like, oh, I actually really like you. You know, it's been really hard to talk about it around the workplace, but that kind of deal, it feels like a very long story. This just feels so easy. This doesn't feel like a flirty message. This feels like a genuine, I really like you. This is gonna be so easy. This, this is gonna be the most easiest relationship you've ever had, guys. No forcing, no pushing. So if you are in a relationship right now, or you're feeling like, is this the one? If you're forcing it or you're pushing and you're not feeling your authentic self, this is not the one, guys. This is not this person. This person is so authentic and so are you. And I feel like number seven is really important. Like this is somebody who will make you feel comfortable and will be very spiritual and open with you. All right, so the King of Swords, someone who speaks very openly, really good with communication, really good with communication. We have the Five of Swords and then we also have the Two of Wands. So this person could be quite far away from you at the moment, but they're possibly going to move near you. Um, there's somebody who could have quite a big strong value around uh, I'm hearing relationships and travel. So they could have traveled quite a lot in their life. They could be quite mature, I'm feeling. Um, there's somebody who is very, very open to communication. So if you are struggling talking about something, that won't be a problem with this person. This person will be so open. It'll be like they'll just pick up on it anyway, spiritually. This person has been through a lot of heartbreak and travel has been very, very therapeutic for them. But obviously since lockdown, it's been, it's been quite hard for them, which has caused them to go inward. And therefore now they're ready to um, meet meet you I feel like because before they may have used that as a distraction not for everyone but I feel like it could be something that they're working on and they have been working on that and now it's not really a problem anymore I do feel like the bat is really really prominent we have like that air energy so there could be an air sign coming in for you guys but also I'm just seeing messages being flown in so it could literally be an email like a obviously the air signs represent especially Aquarius represents wi-fi so I feel like this person's definitely to do with online they could have a, quite a strong social media presence as well
I'm seeing the um, the rose quartz. I'm seeing a rose quartz, so look out for that. And clear quartz, so just any sort of quartz. Okay, we have Leo, beautiful. I'm hearing fire sign and air sign dominant. Oh, we have Scorpio. That's been coming up a lot. Scorpios and Leos, very strong energy. Okay, we have J. We have U. We have S and we have L. I'm hearing the name Justin, Liam, Nathan, Katrina. We have Aquarius. Yep, beautiful. We have the letter K. Oh, I did say Katrina, so that's really cool. I love that. Here and then Paula or Paul. Oh, there we go. Number P, letter P. Love that. And we have Gemini. Oh my god, that's so freaky when that happens. I love it. That got that made me feel really, really hot then. Had a massive hot flush. With the letter N. And we also have Aries as well. Beautiful. Here in the word Kipper as well, which this is like the Kipper deck. So I find that really interesting. Like this is literally the Kipper deck. So I don't know why I'm picking up on that, but very, very strong energy. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments section down below. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. If you'd like to get any crystal jewellery or crystals, all the information is down below. I have an online store, so that's down below. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. Stay safe, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. So let's get started with your reading. Let's see who you're, you're going to be in relationship with next. So we have Sunstone. Take pleasure in the things you do. So I feel like for you guys, you could have very strong sun signs. So you could be a Leo. That's like the main message I'm picking up on. I feel like you could meet your person at the beach or the beach could be a very important thing for you as well. Um, I'm seeing you building sand castles with a little boy. So you may have a little boy, you may have a son, you may uh, want, you may have like a, a cousin or somebody who's, who's younger than you, who you may take uh, take out and have pleasure kind of like hanging out with them. It feels like something like that. It might even, even be someone who's related to you. It could be as, as some, like as like random as someone who's like your next door neighbor. Um, but you have a very strong connection. I just feel like you have a very strong connection with children as well. You could be a teacher, a nurse, a counselor, that kind of thing. Just someone who's very, like just extremely caring. So we have shimmer, glamour, confidence, allure, charisma. You guys, I feel like are the most confident out of all the groups i feel like you guys are just working on your confidence you have a very sexual energy to you people get really drawn to you through that sensual energy and i feel like the more you're working on yourself the more this is coming out and people are going to be so 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 drawn to you oh i like this indigo rainbow crystal children and beyond this is so cute i actually haven't had this card come out yet so that is so cute so you could be an indigo rainbow or crystal child. I mean, most likely you will be watching this reading, especially for those of you who are in the younger group, like 28 and younger. Um, for those of you who re resonate with that sort of energy, I feel like this person could see you as one of those type of children and they get really drawn to you. So they could also be the same energy, like you could be a rainbow child, they could be a rainbow child and you both really connect on that energy. Like you both have very sensitive energy. I love how we got like a woman and a man and he's like kind of almost looking at her and she's like not really bothered. So it's kind of like, you both are very sneaky. I feel very, very cheeky energy, very, very sneaky and just very, very loving and very, very natural. So let's look at the tarot first. I'm getting redrawn really to look at the tarot first. So let's do that. Okay, so. Ace of Pentacles, we have the Hanged Man, Knight of Pentacles, Judgment, and we also have Page of Cups, Pisces, yeah, I mean, this is Pisces full on, so this person, I feel like you're going to meet through work, you're going to meet through investing in your work, investing in your passions, it could be that you actually have investments as well, and this person could be to do with finances, this person's very young, I feel, <laughs> they're actually quite young, um, they, and when I say young, I feel like this is somebody who has a very naive, in a, in a cute way, a naive young energy. So it could be a Pisces, Cancer kind of energy, um, but they also could just be very, very cheeky, very kind of young, sprightly energy at any age, could even be like, you know, 60, 70, and they could still just be very, very young, very childlike. And this person is very, very intelligent though. They have their own business. They could have their own business. They're very good with business. They're really good with helping people with technology. They're really good with technology. And they're really good with helping you 
understand that your passions are very, very important and they could have a very supportive father figure as well that could help them with their passions and therefore they're helping you with your passions as well. I feel they could have quite um, a rich family. I'm not sure how connected they are with this family, but they could have quite a rich family just putting out that obviously this is a general reading, so it's gonna resonate with some of you guys. Yeah, amazingly connected to children. Yeah, I feel that like very, very strongly. So you can meet this person at school at any type of school it could be like a senior school like for me we call them senior school it could be high school it could be college university it could be on a course it could be uh yeah all of those kind of education this person's very protected though they're protected by the angels they are making sure that they're going to meet you the angels are just making sure that they're going to meet you and I feel like you're gonna find your passion and through your passion you get really, really confident because you're just being yourself and then you get a glimpse of your person coming in. I really, really feel that. It's interesting how we have the sunstone in the middle because it's kind of like this is the key to meeting your person is taking pleasure in the things you do, whether it be really small things or really big things. And I just feel like somebody's gonna invest in you. I feel like this doesn't have to be, this isn't for everybody, but if you're waiting on some sort of manifestation with money and you are really close, you feel very close to it, that is for some of you guys as well. But I feel like this person's gonna help kickstart your career as well. So if you guys are self-employed and you're waiting for something to kind of go through of contracts, that's for you guys as well. I feel like you have a lot of dreams and you're definitely going to manifest those as well. That could be a dream, could also be being in a relationship with this person. Okay, so two very different energies. This person is very confusing. <laughs> We have this black and white energy and also almost like this black and white energy here. So this person could be a little bit stubborn, um, but they could also be, they really like monochromatic uh, colors. So they could like black and white. They're very, very intuitive. They're somebody who builds a home. They love children. They love nurturing children. They really just love children. <laughs> um, they love could love gardening as well. Um, for some of you guys, this person looks very young, but they're a really old soul. So there's somebody who kind of acts like an old granny or an old granddad, <laughs> but it could be like an old granny or the old granddad of a friendship group. They could be even like 16 and they act like they're 80, but in a really cute way. There's somebody who's learning patience and they're probably, for some of you guys, they could be moving house. And when you meet this person, they could have newly moved in and same for you guys, newly moved in. This person also works in their home really, really well. So they're really good at kind of organizing the home. They're very kind of clean and tidy and they like organization, very strong Virgo vibes from this person. So you guys are really, I feel like taking pleasure in what you do and very strong creative vibes. Like you guys are really coming into your power and you're really realizing what it is that you need to work on to be that confident energy. And you obviously will have down days and, and unconfident days, but you are starting to know who you are and recognize what it is that, that you need within your power and what gives you power. And Moonstone is a very strong energy. I always wear my Moonstone necklaces. I, sh I have this on my website. They're very, very strong. Um, I am very, like a massive fan of them. I mean, I made them myself, but not to promote myself, but they are really, really good. Like Moonstone just in general is a gorgeous crystal. You guys are right on the verge of meeting someone too. Like for some of you guys, right on the verge. Like Moonstone is also showing me about cycles as well. So around this very strong moon, whichever moon is kind of coming up for you guys when you're, when you're watching this reading, I feel like that's gonna be a very strong moon for you guys, whichever moon that is around this reading when you're watching it, very strong in terms of your love life in some way or really trigger some sort of chakra whether it be like your solar plexus or your heart chakra and it will really bring that into high gear I feel and it will help you to draw out all those negative toxins so you can have some space for that person to come in and this person will has been through quite a lot they could have been through flooding in their home but they've really worked through that energy and they've really worked through that damage even it could be damaging in their heart as well they could have gone through quite a lot emotionally but they really learned to build themselves up I'm um, hearing build themselves up from the ground. So, so I'm hearing start from the bottom now we're here. <laughs> okay, so we have Mars. Wow, very strong fire energy. Um, there's somebody who is very, very good with communication. They are very, very intuitive. I'm hearing infatuated by you. And I'm hearing the employment rate is very high. So it feels like they're, they know about statistics. They're really good with statistics and finances. They could even be very good with politics as well. But whoever they are, they're going to suit you really well. So if none of this resonates, guys, this person's still going to be really, really attracted to you and very, very compatible. So just take it as it resonates. 
we have opened the door. So this is also to do with the take pleasure in things you do. The more you take pleasure in things you do, the more you're going to open the door to this person. There's going to be a new opportunity that's going to be open to you. And this person isn't ready to come in yet, but they will come in very, very soon. And that's going to be part of this opportunity is, is them coming in. Oh my God, we have another zebra. A change in the wind. Yeah, you guys are going to feel this change. This person's going to have a massive impact on you and on your life. And you may have something kind of go weirdly wrong. Like you might have like some emotions come up from the past and you're like, oh my God, I thought I dealt with this. But actually it's bringing you to what is your, like they're bringing you to the depths of who you are. So you can understand that this is who you need to be because you need to be with your most authentic self with this person. This person is very authentic. And the more you're authentic, the more you're going to connect with this person. And this is why we have this card. So you probably are forgiving the past. Uh, you could have unwanted feelings and emotions that you need to let go of and this is going to help you to release and declutter and your person's also doing this exact same thing so do this for your person if not for you do it for your person I mean obviously do it for you that's like the main energy 100% do it for you but if you're struggling to really focus on yourself because you're going through a lot do it for your person do it for the potential of meeting somebody and the, the real life energy of actually being like, well, I'm going to do this to manifest my person. And that is for you. You know, it's all connected to you. It's all part of you. And I feel like you guys are going to like stargazing. You could be into astronomy or astrology as well as this person. So this person is going to be really, really important. They could have a dad who could be, have been in the army, could have been um, like an officer of some sort. But this person, I mean, number 22 is about balance. Is somebody who likes balance and this could be somebody who just is very important. I feel like it could be a manager, um, a boss, a CEO of some sort of company. And it could help you with your um, finances as well. But also this is just their energy. Like they're very, very strong minded and they're going to open the door for you. And I feel like the, the fact that we have official person, it's like this is your official person. Like this is somebody who you are definitely meant to meet. So last cards out, we have independence and we have concentration. So you guys, both of you are working on independence. Your relationship with this person is going to be so independent. So if you're working on independence and you're kind of struggling with that, that is where the confidence is going to come in. So the more confident you are, the more independent you are. And you may, for some of you guys, have tr have trouble kind of wanting a relationship because you want to be independent. This person who you're going to meet is meant to be with you. So you're never going to give up your independence. Okay, guys, just to let you guys know, you're never going to give up your independence. And if you're working on independence, step forward into that. Open the door with your independence because this person is going to be very, very strong. We have Moon in Aquarius here and we also have uh, Concentration with Gemini here as well. And uh, this is Saturn. So this is a very strong, like, big energy. So the more, it just feels very concentrated, very potent. So when you meet this person, they're probably going to be quite independent and they might not really realise that you're the person for them. Same, like, vice versa. Um, and I feel like I can keep seeing like a circle and I feel like this is like this here and here So I feel like definitely you guys are going through a very strong cycle for some of you guys you could be working on Kind of being more independent the other person could be working on becoming less independent and more Working on interdependency where you both are on the same level and then you're kind of balancing out that energy I feel like some of you guys could be working on a boat or like a yacht you could be working actually on a boat, like literally like building a boat or something like that. It's something to do with boats and oceans and things like that. You could like surfing and things like that is what I'm picking up on too. So let's get you some energies and see what cards, cards, not cards. Let's see what letters and uh, star signs we have. So we have Aries, we have S, B, we have Y, we have O. I mean, this is kind of reminding me of a boy, like a... I mean, maybe the boy like a male, or it could be a boy is in a boy in the water. We have Z, we have Capricorn. I'm picking up on um, K-pop for this group as well. We have Q. Got a lot of letters here. R, L, J. Okay, I'm hearing L J could be a name. I'm going to pick quite a few zodiac signs for this group. They're saying pick pick lots, like pick up lots. Okay, let's just keep, let's say just keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm like, okay then. Maybe a lot of you guys are picking this group. So then keep going and one more and stop. Okay. <laughs> I 
Okay, so let's see what else we have. We have I. You guys might meet somebody through a sister, like your sister or your friend's sister. Something like that. I'm getting like windows and doors for this group. We have A. Okay, so we have, we can have a lot of star signs for this group. So we have Scorpio, we have Sagittarius, we have Leo. This person's gonna be really generous, really, really friendly. Very, very imaginative and uh, intuitive as well. We have Cancer, so we have Aquarius, Aries, Capricorn, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Leo and Cancer. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you would like a private reading, all my information is down below and also my crystal shop is down below also if you want to check that out. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys so much and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.